Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glad that you are with us. Estamos muy contentos que estén con nosotros. For the at least probably the next five, six weeks, we'll be worshiping outside in this way. Por las próximas cinco o seis semanas, vamos a estar adorando de esta manera. Can you hear in the back? ¿Me pueden yeah. oír allá atrás? More volume. Please. Más sonido. <laughs> okay. So, uh, if you will rise, please. Si nos podemos poner de pie, por favor. Join hands with the, the ones that you're closest to, or if you're alone, don't. <laughs> Let's bow our heads and go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we give thanks for a beautiful morning. And we give thanks for the family of followers that you have created. Y te damos gracias, Señor, por la familia de aquellos que creen en ti. Our desire is to serve you. Nuestro deseo es servirte. And we pledge to do that by serving our neighbors. Y nosotros prometemos el servirte sirviendo a nuestros prójimos. We ask that you would refresh us today with the power of your Holy Spirit. Te pedimos que nos refresques con el poder de tu Espíritu Santo. Help us to have our sins removed. Y remueve nuestros pecados. And our hearts renewed. Y renueva nuestros corazones. In Christ's name. En el nombre de Cristo. Amen. Amen. You may continue standing if you want to, or you can be seated. We're going to have two songs now. Así es de que ustedes pueden sentarse, pero yo sé que van a estar en el espíritu levantados y vamos a adorar al Señor en esta mañana, hermanos. Amen. Ready, hermanos? Ready, ready brothers? <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, 
buenísimo, amén, muy ordenado. Entonces, bueno, so vamos a continuar, we're going to continue on forward with um, worship now. Uh, vamos a adorar a nuestro Señor, a nuestro Padre, que, que siempre es bien um, misericordioso con nosotros. God is always so merciful to us, amen. Even during this time of, of uncertainty, of this time that many of us are going through hardship, durante este tiempo de, de, de uh, que, que hay muchas cosas, I learned a new word. So, yeah, um, Dios siempre está con nosotros. Dios nunca nos va a, a, a dejar solos. God will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Amen. Amen. So, ahorita vamos a, a cantar Good, Good Father. Right now we're going to sing Good, Good Father. And let's just, let's just surrender our hearts and just open ourselves to his to his goodness to his love vamos a abrir nuestros corazones ahorita y para que dios puede hundirnos con su amor con su bondad con su misericordia amen pues vamos a cantar.
perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. You're a good, good father. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. Today is the second in our series on relationships. Can you hear okay in the back? I hope that today's sermon will have it at least one point for everyone to think about that will improve their relationships. Yo espero que este sermón en este día tenga al menos un punto de cómo ustedes pueden mejorar sus relaciones personales. I'm going to begin by reading scriptures from Ephesians. Y voy a comenzar leyendo una escritura en Efesios. This is Ephesians 5, 22 through 33. Esto es Efesios, de los versículos 22 al 33. It begins, Wives, give yourself to your own husbands as to the Lord. Las casadas estén sujetos a sus propios maridos como al Señor. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. Porque el marido es cabeza de la mujer, así como Cristo es cabeza de la iglesia, la cual es su cuerpo, y él es su salvador. As the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Así que, como la iglesia está sujeta a Cristo, así también las casadas estén sujetas a sus maridos en todo. Husbands, Love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Maridos, amad a vuestras mujeres, así como Cristo amó a la iglesia y se entregó a sí mismo por ella. That he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. Para santificarla, habiéndola purificado en el lavamiento del agua por la palabra. So that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. Así también los maridos deben amar a sus mujeres como a sus mismos cuerpos. El que ama a su mujer a sí mismo se ama. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. Así los maridos deben de amar a las mujeres como a sus propios cuerpos. He who loves his wife loves himself. El que ama a su mujer, a sí mismo se ama. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it just as Christ does the church. Because we are members of his body. Porque somos miembros de su cuerpo. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Por esto dejará el hombre a su padre y a su madre, y se unirá a su mujer, y los dos serán una sola carne. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. Grande es este misterio, mayor digo esto respecto de Cristo y de la iglesia. 
So let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Por lo demás, cada uno de vosotros ame también a su mujer como a sí mismo, y la mujer respete a su marido. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of Scripture. Que Dios bendiga la lectura de su palabra. Let me review for you some things about life that uh, you know but may not think about very much. Déjenme repasar unas cosas acerca de la vida que todos sabemos. When we first become Christians, the language that we use is that we are saved. Cuando nosotros llegamos a ser cristianos, el lenguaje que nosotros usamos es que somos salvos. So the first time that you say in your heart to Christ, I give my life to you, you are considered a part of his kingdom. Así es de que la primera vez que usted le dio su vida a Cristo, usted es considerado parte del reino. Raise your hand if you've ever known someone who became a Christian later in life. Por favor, levante su mano si ustedes han conocido alguna persona que ya después de su vida ha recibido a Cristo. I have had that privilege many times. Yo he tenido ese privilegio muchas veces. And many times I have wondered after they came forward and gave their life to Christ if they were really saved because they continued to live as if they were not. If you are a Christian, chances are people in your family or workplace or community have said the same about you, that I thought you were a Christian and yet you say words you shouldn't or you do things that you shouldn't do. Y tal vez en su comunidad también haya personas que digan, ay, yo creo que tú no eres cristiano, porque dices palabras que no debes de decir y haces cosas que no debes de hacer. And of course this is absolutely true. Y esto es absolutamente cierto. <coughs> For most of my life people have said, you're a pastor? <laughs> Durante mi vida hay gente que me ha dicho, ¿usted es un pastor? I, I used to tell them, yes, but not a very good one. Sí, 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 les digo, yo soy un pastor, pero uno no muy bueno. But I have learned along the way a different answer. Pero a lo largo del camino yo he conocido otra respuesta. And that answer is, yes, I, I am saved and I try to serve the Lord, but he hasn't finished with me yet. Y la respuesta que yo les doy es que les digo, sí, yo conozco a Cristo y soy salvo, pero Dios no ha terminado conmigo. The same process that made me a Christian continues to occur over and over in different parts of my life. I am saved from some sins of the past, but I discover in my life new sins, many of which I was unaware for a long time. Yo he sido salvo por muchos pecados del pasado, pero a lo largo que voy en mi caminar me doy cuenta que hay otros pecados que aparecen. And when I discover them, the first thing I do is try to rationalize and pretend they're not sin. Y cuando yo los descubro, la primera cosa que yo hago es tratar de racionalizarlo y decir, no, no, estos no son pecados. And as the damage from the sin adds up, I begin to be ready to repent. Y como yo veo después que el pecado está sumando, entonces yo voy preparándome para arrepentirme. And when I repent and ask God to forgive me and to help me do better, I have been saved again. Y cuando yo me arrepiento y cuando le pido perdón a Dios, entonces me doy cuenta que he sido salvado nuevamente. I'm saved from different dangers because I am a new creation in Christ, but there are still things to be done. Yo soy salvo de muchos peligros, pero todavía hay cosas que necesitan ser hechas. In the same way, in our relationships, en la misma manera en nuestras relaciones, we sometimes experience the feeling that we don't love our spouse or our children or our siblings the way we used to because they have changed. Y nos damos cuenta que a lo mejor no amamos a nuestro esposo, a nuestra esposa, a nuestros hijos de la misma manera, porque tal vez ellos han cambiado. And of course this is true, people change all the time. Y esto es verdad, la gente cambia todo el tiempo. So one of the fundamentals of having a good heart and mind about relationships 
is to understand that the people you love, you will have to fall in love with them in different ways as they change. Así de que uno de los fundamentos es que la gente, así como va cambiando, nosotros tenemos que aprenderla a amar en las diferentes etapas de la vida. When we are young, we fall in love at first because someone is attractive to our eye. Y cuando estamos jóvenes, nos enamoramos porque alguien nos gusta a la vista. But if we make a life with that person for many years, that a physical attraction will slowly go away. Pero si nosotros vivimos con esa persona por mucho tiempo, nosotros nos vamos a dar cuenta que la atracción física puede irse. And we will have to fall in love with their character and with their kindness. Y nosotros nos vamos a enamorar ahora del carácter y de la bondad de esa persona. In the same way, when you fall in love with someone, they may have very little confidence. They may live in uh, shame and fear. De la misma manera, cuando nosotros nos enamoramos de una persona que vive en mucha vergüenza y temor y culpa. So a part of the attraction is that you can be a hero for them. Eh, nosotros podemos pensar, oh, yo voy a ser un héroe para él. But as they are loved and in a good relationship, they lose the fear and they gain confidence. Pero cuando les amamos en esa relación, ellos pierden el miedo y ganan confianza. And they don't need a hero then. What they need is a partner. And in order to be that partner, you will have to fall in love with the new person that has been created. Y ellos no necesitan un héroe en esa relación, sino necesitan un compañero para seguir creciendo en ella. All of life is this way, but we get confused. All things change and grow constantly. Todas las cosas en la vida cambian y crecen constantemente. But many human beings think when the person they are in relationship with changes that somehow it is wrong. Y la, cuando nosotros estamos con una persona y pensamos que no va a cambiar, eso es equivocado. It is natural. Es natural. A part of the reason we take vows for marriage and, and that God created us to be so bonded to our children is that the truth is there will be many seasons of our lives when we might love those people, but we don't like them at all. Y la razón por la cual nosotros hacemos un pacto cuando nos casamos o por lo cual tenemos que estar unidos con nuestros hijos es que va a haber un momento en la vida en que ellos no nos van a gustar pero tenemos que seguir amándonos. And of course the same is true of us. We go through changes and we have setbacks and we need our family and spouses and children to continue to love us even we, when we are not very lovable. Y también es lo mismo. Nosotros vamos a cambiar y necesitamos que nuestros esposos, nuestras esposas, nuestros hijos nos amen cuando nosotros no merecemos ser que nos amen. So today I have five practices in a relationship that take into account what we have talked about. These things help us to stay in relationship uh, in the good and the bad times so that we have a chance to fall in love again and again. The first and the most important is that both people in a relationship need to have their primary relationship with Jesus Christ. Think about how differently we talk about Christ than about people. Fíjense qué diferente hablamos acerca de Cristo y de la gente. I have just clearly stated that I believe human beings change for their entire life. Yo ya he dicho que los seres humanos cambian toda su vida. And what the Bible says about Christ is he is the same today, tomorrow, and forever, never changing. Y lo que la Biblia dice es que Jesucristo es el mismo ayer, hoy, y por siempre, y nunca cambia. So when we attach ourselves to Christ as our primary relationship, we are in touch with that everlasting truth. Así es de que cuando nosotros estamos ahí en una relación con Jesucristo, estamos en una relación que nunca va a cambiar porque Él es la verdad eterna.
that connection. We need that connection so that as we change, we change for the better under Christ's guidance. Y nosotros necesitamos esa relación porque si nosotros cambiamos, tenemos que cambiar para lo mejor en la relación con Cristo. In my marriage with Marilyn, she has taught me many things. En mi matrimonio con Marilyn, ella me ha enseñado muchas veces. She has taught me that you can't be a cowboy from Wyoming forever. <laughs> ella me ha enseñado que no puede seguir siendo un vaquero de Wyoming toda la vida, siempre. She has also taught me to understand <clears throat> that when my life is at its worst, God is working hardest in my life. Y también me ha enseñado que cuando mi vida está muy mal, es cuando Dios está trabajando más en mí. And many times the truth is, as much as I want someone else to change, God is intent on having the pain in my life change me. Y Dios me ha enseñado que cuando yo quiero que una persona cambie, lo que Dios va a usar va a ser el dolor que yo siento, pero para cambiarme a mí. She is, of course, right. Christ waits for us to change, and our change sometimes comes through pain. Y ella ciertamente es, está bien, tiene la verdad, porque nuestro cambio siempre viene a través de Cristo y a través del dolor. There are very few things in life that are more painful than being in a quarrel with the person that you love most. Y hay muy pocas cosas que tú que sean más dolorosas que estar con una persona ahí en una mala relación. And in that circumstance, we have the choice to think it's all the other person's fault. Y cuando esto pasa, nosotros podemos pensar, es toda la culpa de esa persona. Or to understand that pain, even if it's pain of the heart, always signals us that we need to change. O el dolor que está ahí en una señal en nosotros nos dice que nosotros somos los que tenemos que cambiar. If you are attached to Christ, then he will guide you in what needs to change. Si usted está unido a Cristo, él le va a guiar en lo que usted necesita cambiar. The second characteristic is to be trustworthy and to be trusting. La segunda característica es que usted debe de ser digno de que se le tenga confianza. The intimacy of marriage comes because you are in relationship to a person whom you should be able to trust fully. Y la intimidad en el matrimonio viene a partir de que estamos con una persona en la cual podemos confiar profundamente. That trust is built in small and large ways. Y la confianza está en cosas pequeñas y en cosas grandes. The small ways are obvious. Did, did you take out the trash? No, I'm sorry, I forgot. I thought you said you were going to fold the laundry. I'm ah. sorry, I forgot. But it's also built uh, in big ways. Pero también está en cosas grandes. I recommend to you in your uh, marriage or your close relationships the same things that Marilyn and I practice. Yo les recomiendo en sus relaciones, en su matrimonio, las mismas cosas que Marilyn y yo practicamos. Because of technology, there are many opportunities for flirtation, there are opportunities to look at pornography, there are opportunities to be in touch with people who are not uh, seen by your family. Ahora, Debido a la tecnología, hay muchas oportunidades para andar coqueteando virtualmente para la pornografía o para estar en contacto con personas que no son nuestra familia. Because this is true, and as pastors, we have seen the damage that can occur in so many relationships. We established rules for ourselves. Y esto es cierto, y nosotros como pastores hemos visto cómo es peligroso. Por eso tenemos que tener normas para nosotros mismos. For our cell phones and our computers, we each have the other one's password. Para nuestros teléfonos y nuestras computadoras, los dos sabemos nuestros códigos. 
and we each have permission at any time that we want without saying that we're doing it to look through the other's cell phone, who they've talked to, who they've texted, who they've gotten emails from, and to look through their computer and check their uh, history. Y uno y otro tenemos permiso de ver nuestros teléfonos, de checar nuestra computadora, de ver los textos, quien nos habló, quien nos mandó un mensaje, y estamos eh, en eso siempre. We do this not because we don't trust each other, y esto no no el uno al otro, but because it makes it easier for us to make good decisions. Sino nos hace a para tomar That type of openness in a relationship secures the bond between hearts. Y ese tipo de And I, I would say, if you are with someone who cannot or will not abide by those rules, you should think seriously before you make a commitment to them. If your reaction as I say this is to think, no way, I have a right to privacy. Y si su reacción a lo que yo estoy diciendo es decir, oh no, yo tengo derecho a mi privacidad. That is a truth. Esa es una verdad. But in relationships as Christians, that truth is trumped by the duty and the obligation to be open and honest with your spouse. Pero esa privacidad o ese derecho que usted tiene, ahí encuentra una barrera cuando usted se da cuenta que como It goes back to point number one, which is dedicate yourself to Christ, and that improves your relationship. In this specific scenario, if you're dedicating yourself to Christ, then you are happy to be confessional and to, to let all of your electronics be seen by someone else. Ahora, si usted se ha entregado a Cristo, eso es parte también de su entrega, de ser una persona confiable y de abrir todos sus accesorios electrónicos. In the same way, the next point, number three, also depends on our willingness to serve Christ. The third thing is a willingness to sacrifice for the good of the relationship. Before she met me, Marilyn had lived in California three different times. She said it was as if God had placed a curse on her and she couldn't get away. I told her it, uh, it's okay, you won't ever have to go back because I'm in Colorado and my bishop is in Colorado and there's no chance we'll ever go back to California. Y yo le dije, no te preocupes, tú no vas a tener que volver a California. Yo estoy en la conferencia de Colorado, mi obispo está en la conferencia de Colorado y tú no tienes que regresar. She never complained when I told her I had been appointed here. Y ella nunca se quejó cuando yo le dije, ¿sabes qué? Me mandaron a California. But when we left Colorado, she stopped and lingered over the final site of the Rocky Mountains. Pero... Cuando nosotros dejamos Colorado, ella eh, dio un murmullo y estaba ahí a un lado de las Rocky Mountains. And I knew that the move in its entirety on her behalf was a sacrifice for me. And yo supe que su estado de ánimo, su deseo era el sacrificarse por mí. And her sacrifice for me caused me to have a desire to sacrifice for her. Y el deseo de ella por sacrificarse por mí me dio a mí también el deseo de sacrificarme por ella. Sacrifice happens in big and in small ways. Sacrificio viene en pequeñas o en grandes cosas. But every time we make the choice to sacrifice for the good of the marriage and the other person, we freshen the relationship. Pero cada vez que nosotros nos sacrificamos por la 
cada persona, por nuestra relación, nosotros la vamos a necesitar a renovar. Parents are often upset with their children because children do not understand that the parents are sacrificing. Y a veces los papás se sienten un poco molestos porque sus hijos no entienden que los papás se sacrifican por ellos. Let me say that another way. Children cannot receive the fullness of their parents' love because they can't appreciate how hard it is to be a parent. It is only later in life when the children grow and have children of their own and they begin to be sacrificial that they understand the great sacrifice their parents have made. Y tienen sus propios hijos y se sacrifican por ellos es cuando ellos entienden el sacrificio de sus padres. God has built the great gift of gratitude and a freshening of our thoughts about our parents into life at a later stage. Y Dios nos ha dado la gracia de la gratitud y del poder reconsiderar el sacrificio de nuestros padres ya tarde en la vida. Long after it might have done the parent any, any good. <laughs> y claro que los padres no pueden hacer el hecho de ser padres mejor. Their adult child learns to appreciate all that has been given to them. Y ya los hijos adultos aprenden a apreciar todo lo que sus padres hicieron por ellos. And as the parent ages and dies usually before their children, their children are refreshed in their love and appreciation for their parents. Y cuando sus padres envejecen, ni enferman, ni mueren, entonces los hijos aprenden a apreciar y a ver el sacrificio que sus padres hicieron por ellos. It is a beautiful gift that God has built in to sacrifice. Es un hermoso regalo que Dios nos ha dado en nosotros sacrificar. The next characteristic of a healthy relationship is to be forgiving. Y la siguiente característica en una relación saludable es ser una persona que perdona. The center of what we say about Jesus Christ deals with forgiveness. El centro de lo que nosotros decimos acerca de Cristo está en el perdón. He sacrificed in order to purchase forgiveness for us. Él se sacrificó y no es para poder alcanzar el perdón para nosotros. And we receive that gift only to the depth that we are willing to give it to someone else. In our marriages, in our relationship with friends and with children, if we don't learn to be good at forgiving, we doom the relationship to be broken. Si nosotros no aprendemos en nuestro matrimonio, nuestras relaciones con nuestros hijos y amigos, el perdón, nosotros vamos a arruinar nuestras relaciones. Because the only alternative to forgiving is to keep a long list of everything the other person has ever done wrong. It makes you suspicious of them and it brings shame into their life and shame is a poison. Porque cuando nosotros no perdonamos, lo único que vamos a guardar en nosotros es una lista de todas las cosas que la gente nos hizo mal y después vamos a avergonzar y la vergüenza es algo que daña. Forgiving those closest to you when they have hurt you the most is an act of sacrifice and a holy act that God blesses. Y el perdonar a aquellos que están alrededor de usted es un acto que está centrado en Cristo. If you are thinking to yourself that a relationship that you're in is at the breaking point and that um, things are very, very bad, ask the question, have I forgiven them as I should? Y si usted está en una relación que ya está a punto de romperse, de quebrarse, piense usted, ¿he perdonado yo de la manera que debo de hacerlo? Instead of asking, what is the matter with them? Why don't they change? En lugar de pensar, ¿qué están pensando? ¿Por qué no cambian? If you are able to forgive them, then whether the relationship lasts or not, you will be free. Y sea que la relación continúe o se rompa, si usted perdona, usted va a ser libre. 
If you can't forgive them and be free, you are doomed to forever believe that they have done something unpardonable. Y si usted no perdona, usted va a llegar a, una, a un pensamiento de decir, oh no, lo que hicieron es imperdonable. And that makes it very difficult for you, if you are telling the truth, to ask God to forgive you. And I promise you that on the final judgment, you do not want to be in a situation where you can't ask forgiveness because you did not give forgiveness. In this way, when your spouse or children or friends break your heart, they're doing a service for you. I laughed when I said it because it seems absurd, but it is true. The last characteristic La última característica is affirmation. Es afirmación, el afirmar a alguien. It goes like this. Y esto va así. Every day that you see someone that you're in relationship with that you care about, you should affirm them in some way. Cada vez, cada día que usted esté con una persona en una relación, todos los días tiene que afirmarla. You should communicate to them in some way that they are important to you. Usted debe de comunicarles de alguna manera que ellos son importantes para usted. The easiest affirmation is always to say, you look handsome or you look pretty today. <laughs> La forma más fácil de afirmar a una persona es decir, usted se ve hermosa, usted se ve muy guapo hoy. But in our closest relationships, the, the truth is, uh, we often don't look handsome or pretty. Pero la verdad es que en nuestras relaciones más cercanas, en veces no nos vemos guapos y nos vemos bonitas. So we need to affirm people for the more important characteristics in their life. Así es de que necesitamos afirmar a las personas en sus características más importantes en la vida. If your spouse or children work hard around the house, you should say thank you and mean it every time. Si su esposo o sus hijos trabajan muy duro ahí en la casa, usted le debe de decir gracias y que de veras usted lo diga. If they think differently than you do about politics, y si ellos piensan diferente acerca de la política que usted, you should affirm them for having an opinion or a view that makes your view broader. Usted debe afirmarlos y decirles, o sea, decirles qué bueno tu punto de vista me hace tener un panorama más grande. There are a thousand different ways to affirm another human being. Hay miles de maneras en los que nosotros podemos afirmar a otro ser humano. And if we make it a habit to do so, y si hacemos un hábito de practicarlo, we deepen our relationships and strengthen them. Nosotros vamos a estar más profundamente en nuestras relaciones y las vamos a fortalecer. We must remember, though, that human beings uh, are delicate in their hearts. Nosotros debemos de recordar que los seres humanos son delicados en su corazón. So if we say something cruel to our spouse, Así es de que si nosotros decimos algo cruel a nuestro esposo o esposa, they will remember that for years. Ellos lo van a recordar por años. And it will take a hundred affirmations to make up for it. Y va a, a tomar cien afirmaciones para que usted lo pueda borrar. It is important, therefore, because our tongues get us in trouble, that we use our tongues to help mend the damage. Y es importante porque con nuestras bocas nosotros nos metemos en problemas. These five things that we have covered, estas cinco cosas que nosotros hemos cubierto, when they become a part of how you understand your relationships, cuando llegan a ser parte de nuestras relaciones, have the power to set your relationships on a different level. Tienen el poder de llevar nuestras relaciones a un nivel diferente. God created you to love and to be loved. Dios le creó a ustedes para amar y ser amados. 
And like everything in life, if you will do the work that is necessary, you can build a healthy relationship. Y como todas las cosas en la vida, si usted trabaja duro para llevar por bien su relación, esta va a crecer. Thank you for your time, and I hope you'll be here next week. Muchas gracias por su tiempo y esperamos que usted esté aquí la siguiente semana. Amén. If you would assume an attitude of prayer. Por favor, vamos a orar. Father, we give thanks today for those that you have placed in our lives. Señor, te damos gracias por aquellos que has puesto en nuestras vidas. For our parents, our teachers, our mentors. Por nuestros padres, por nuestros maestros, por nuestros mentores. For our spouses, for our children. Por nuestros esposos, esposas, por nuestros hijos. And even for those that make our lives more difficult. Y también por aquellos que hacen nuestra vida aún más difícil. We ask that you would bless us with the vision to see our relationships in the way that you do. Mold us and make us until we become more like your son. Continue to save us through our relationships. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. So we're going to uh, enjoy some more songs. As we do that, I would invite you to uh, open your heart and be in prayer, uh, asking God to reveal to you which uh, of these you might need to redouble your efforts on. Y así como adoramos y cantamos, yo le pido que reflexionemos en lo que Dios nos pide para que nuestras relaciones sigan creciendo. Todo a Cristo yo me entrego con el fin de serle fiel para siempre quiero amarle y agradarle solo a
I went right past the offering. Así es de que <laughs> vamos a, directamente a el tiempo de nuestras ofrendas. As the service sí, ends, please feel free if, if you brought something to uh, offer, please feel free to put it in the plate. Sí, pueden pasar, por favor, y siéntanse libres de pasar y depositar su ofrenda. Uh, y para esta semana queremos recordarles que eh, vamos a estar en Facebook Live dando este mensaje en español y les invitamos también a las diferentes actividades que tenemos en Facebook Live durante la semana. Cuídense bien. ¿no? No, <laughs> Nuestro aviso es Dios les ama y nos vemos aquí.